this, clear it out. What I want to do is go through these icons, show you what each one of them do, and then you can start doing some practice. The first picture icon is a symbol for a wall. Click on a wall section. Determine where you want your wall to start. Hold your left mouse button down and drag a wall. If you'll notice up here, it tells you how long the wall is. We're going to do a 16 foot wall, approximately. When you let up, it will establish that wall. We'll do about 12 feet in this direction. Go back 16 feet to the left. And then connect your walls. We're going to do a one room house just to show you some examples. Your second icon is for a door. Click on that icon, click on your wall, and it places a door. What you want to do now is bring up the dialog box for the door, so put the cursor right on top of the door and double click. This will bring up your door specification box. Let's pick a glass door and hinged. Click on OK and that will give you a hinged door. If you'll click right over the door opening, you can move the door if you want it to swing out or if you want it to swing in. You can also reposition the door if you decide it's in the wrong place. You can make the door wider or bring it back in. The next icon is a window icon. Click on it once, click on your wall, establishes a window. Double click on your window and this is just like the door specifications. You pick the one you want, pick the size you want. If you want a window that's 24 inches wide and 5 feet tall, which is 60 inches, then you place that in. 80 is the standard height, so you don't want to change that from floor to top. Click OK and that gives you a longer window. The next icon is your cabinet icon. Click on it. Place your cabinet. You can, you can move your cabinet around by clicking on it and moving it. You can also stretch it to get the cabinet you want. The next one is, your. it looks like a commode. This is your fixtures for the house. Click on that. We'll place a commode, and then you have a choice of the types you want. Let's do a corner type. Click OK. We'll come down here, put one in the corner. Now you see it's facing the wrong direction, so you click on it. I'm sorry. Go back to the arrow, then click on it, and you can rotate it. The next one, well, let's stay with this. You have sinks. We'll click on a sink. Pick us a kitchen sink, place that in our cabinet. All your fixtures, your appliances, your ranges, ovens, let's back up on that. We're going to pick a range, 30 inch electric range, and you can place it. Let me skip over a little bit till you get a picture of the eye. This is a camera view. You see the little camera, hold the button down and point at what you want to take a picture of. This will give you a view of what your house looks. This is the 3D part. You notice the glass door that we put in. Now that it's open, there's your sink. There's your stove, commode in the corner. To close that window out, you go to File and Close. Don't do Close All because you'll shut your program down. Go to Close. That'll get you back. Furniture. Picture of a chair. You can pick different types of furniture. Let's put a bed in this one room house. Put a large bed, contemporary, and we'll go to uh, double contemporary. Click OK. Area is too constricted, so we may have a problem. All right. Notice the bed's not placed where you want it, so you go back to the arrow. Click on your bed. You can move it. You can reposition it. Go 
back to your furniture, pick a seating, let's do a one room, I mean a one arm chair, one person chair. We're going to run out of room in this little house before long. Rotate it the way you want it. So you want it to back up against your bed. This takes care. There's many different things. You'll have to go and just experiment with these and see what they do. You don't want to do stairs unless you have a two-story house. We'll skip that. If you decide to do a two-story house, I'll work with you on that. I'm going to put in one more window on the right side. When we do a 3D view, you'll see why we did this. Double click on the window if you want to make any changes. I'm going to extend the height of this window to 60 inches. That's a five foot window. Click OK. The next icon we want to deal with is the roof icon. If you'll click on the roof icon, move over to the right, pick the center one that shows a picture of a roof, and just pick OK on this one. You can come back later and experiment with what these do. The dashed line shows the outline of our roof. Let's go to 3D full overview. This is going to give us a picture of our house. This is the window I just put in. It gives us a view from the outside. You can pick one of these icons and take a look at the house from the left. It will rotate the house for you. You can experiment with these different places to look. We'll go back where we were. This is through the door in the other window. You can experiment with those when you get to it. We'll close this view, go back to our house. I'm going to take the roof off for right now. You go up to the picture that has an X over the roof. Click on it, that removes your roof. The next icon looks like a plug-in, an electrical receptacle. Click on the receptacle. To your right, you have your options. That's a standard plug-in symbol. That's a light, a ceiling light. S, the little S with a dash means a switch. This is a symbol for your wiring. This is a symbol for a 230 volt receptacle. And this symbol here is for different, you have a library of symbols that you can pick from it. We'll cancel it. First we want to do plug-ins. Let's put one here, one here, one near the windows, one beside the bed one here. Let's put in a ceiling light or two. We'll put in one here and here. And next to the door we'll put in our switch. We'll connect our switch to our light fixtures. What this means is when you flip on the switch, the electricity will go to this light and to this light. You can experiment with these as you go. Our next one is a text item. If you want to place some text in your house, I typed one room house. Character height is four. That's a little bit small. Uh, you can experiment with some different numbers. The size eight seems to be about right for the one we're doing now. Click OK and that will label this particular room. You want to label all your rooms and what they're for as you build your house. The next icon is a measurement icon. If you want to know how far it is between two sections, hold the button down and read in the box up here. That tells you what your measurements is. 15 feet 8 inches between those two interior walls. And it also will put in the measurement from outside to outside uh, as you do that. We did this a few minutes ago, picture of the camera. You can look in any direction. We'll look through this door. And that gives us a bird's eye view right through the door. You see your bed and your couch on the other side of the room. Go to File, close that view. If you want to delete something, click on your arrow. Click on what you want to delete. Let's say we want to take this dimension out. Click on that dimension. Press your delete key on the keyboard and that will take it out. Anything you want to remove, click on it, press delete. Once you press it though, 
this one has an undo, but it's disabled, so you can't change it once you delete it. It's deleted. This is your Zoom. Zoom window. Over to your right, you have different types of zooms. You can zoom in. Each time you click it, it gets smaller. This gives you a full window picture. Or you can take your icon and zoom in on one item. If you want to zoom in on this sink, you draw a box around your sink. Let up and that gives you a full size view. To go back, you click in the full screen zoom and that gives you full screen. If you want to go smaller or full screen. Anything bigger than full screen, you have to draw a picture or draw a box around and that gives you a, a zoom in view. That should give you enough information to get started. When you get through, it's a good idea to do this probably every five minutes. The first time you save yours, and you only do this once, go to Save As. If you don't see 3D Home, you may see all of this. Open the 3D Home folder. Pick the period that you're in. If you're in period one, double click. Double click in this box until it turns blue and put your name. You cannot use over eight characters in your name. Uh, so if you may have to use your last name or your nickname, no spaces, no periods, no commas. Just put one word with eight characters or less for your name. Click OK.